Stayallday.com. Kobe asked me, how many hours do I train roughly? People always ask me this question. I always get the same answer. I train as much as I feel like it. Please stop asking me this question. Watch my other vlogs. I train as much as I feel like it. That's the answer. That's too boa. What's the main difference between European and U.S. basketball culture, both on and off the court? That's a good question. On the court, I would say the main differences in Europe is more team focused, and the United States is more individual focused. In the United States, all players in the U.S. are always thinking about themselves, how many points they got, what their stats was, how good they look to the people that are watching the games. In Europe is more about the team. If the team is successful, then the team's happy with the players they have. It doesn't matter what the players are doing individually. If the team is successful, then they're happy with what they got. In the United States, the team can be successful, then you still have players who are unhappy because they're not doing what they want to do individually. So that's the main difference. Off the court, off the court, I mean, everybody is different. So I can't say there's any one thing off the court. Everywhere you go, things are different. Every person individually is different. It's a good question, though. Double the cream. How much did I weigh when I was 13 and when did I start lifting weights? And I don't know how much, I don't know how the hell much I weighed when I was 13. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. When I started lifting weights, I was 19 when I started lifting weights. And how much did I weigh? I have no idea. Jman135551. People tell him he won't make the team because he's not good and he's only played a short amount of time. What would I do in a situation like this? But if you think you're going to make the team, then go and get a spot on the team. And if you think you're not going to make the team, then don't try out for the team. What does it matter what somebody else says? If you feel you're going to make it, you'll make it. And if you feel you won't, you won't. Plain and simple. J-Man also asks, what do I recommend if you plan on a team with a player that's a ball hog? Well, maybe you should say something to him about not being a ball hog. That's the first thing you can do. And J-Man also said, if I make a vid about basketball, Four and four. While I watch his vid and tell him what I think, probably not. No. So if you make a vid and you want me to watch it, just make it a good vid and eventually I'll get to it. But don't send me your vids, ask me to watch them because I'm probably not going to watch them. So everybody know that. J Man says somebody told him if you're not tall, you can't make it to the NBA. Well, come on, J Man. That's an elementary type question. You know that if you're good enough to make the NBA, you'll make it. I mean, it doesn't matter how tall you are. If you can play, you can play. If you can't, you can't. Krasimir says, how do I find the scouts, agents, recruiters, etc. to send this stuff out to? You go on the internet and look for them if you want to find them. I can't tell you exactly how to find them. If you want to find them, you'll find them. Now, if you want to wait for somebody else to do it for you, then you can wait for somebody else to do it for you. LeBron James, 23 MVP, says... Oh, I guess it's talking about me saying the Lakers will win the title. He said the Cavs beat the Lakers both times. Well, we'll see what happens in the playoffs. I mean, I don't have no money invested in the Cavs or the Lakers. I just like to see good basketball. So whoever wins is whoever wins.